All right, now we're going to look at some, uh, we're going to do some indexing using logical expressions. And I'd rarely recommend that you watch the videos about logic and the video about logical vectors um, and before, we, before you look at this video because this builds on both of those things. So the question here is, like, we, we already looked at, um, and I'm going to use a shorter list of primes in this video, just, just the first uh, ten of them. But we already looked at how to pull a single element out of a vector if we, uh, if we know its position. But what if, we, what if we don't want a single element, or what if we want, like, all of the elements that meet a requirement and maybe we don't know their position, or we don't want to bother trying to figure out their position. So that's a case where, rather than using just the position to give an indexing command, we can actually use a logical expression. And we already talked about logical expressions. Those are the things like um, 10 is greater than 5. These are the expressions that, rather than giving us a number, they give us a true or false. And um, and we also already talked about performing a logical operation, a logical expression on a on a vector, because so we could say um, primes greater than ten, and it gives us a vector of true and false. Like here we go, seven is not greater than ten, so it's false. Nineteen is greater than ten, so it's true. Three is not greater than ten, so it's false. So you can see we've got a vector where um, if we ask ourselves, or if we ask R, is this number greater than 10, then the, uh, the answers line up to the questions in the original vector. So if we wanted to say, but a list of true and false is not really that useful. Like, we can't, we can't do much with it. Um, so what is useful is, say we need to get all the primes that are um, in this list that are greater than 10. Um, and we want a list of them, not, not a list of true and falses. So we can do that just by putting this logical expression that we've already seen um, inside of the square brackets for indexing. So I can say primes, square bracket, primes greater than 10. And I know this looks a little redundant. We say primes twice, but that's the way R works. So when I run this command, what it does is... Um, it takes all of the, uh, it, it does what it did before, it, it finds true and false for each, each member of the primes vector, but only for the trues, it adds, it, it creates a new vector with all of the ones that are true, and it leaves the falses, it doesn't do anything with them. So this is a new vector, and actually we didn't save it, so I could say um, primes over 10, and then assign this as make that the result of this. So now we have a new vector named primes over 10 that includes all of the primes from this original vector. So, you know, only up to 23 and, uh, and stores them in a new vector primes over 10. And we can use, we don't have to use greater than 10. We could say greater than or equal to, we could say less than, we could say, um, we could say equal to, you know, we could even use the double equal sign. Or what if I wanted to make a, what if I wanted to make a, um, a list of primes where for some reason I exclude uh, 29 because 29 is lame. Um, I can do that by just saying primes and then we say primes not equal to 29. So there we go. We've got exactly the same vector as before, except with 29 removed. Basically, we're saying, give me, out, of, out of the vector of primes, give me all of the primes that are not equal to 29. That's what R is doing here. And we can, we can write our own logical expressions, and we will be writing our own logical expressions because we use this a lot.